We have seen the physical harm the coronavirus can do, but uh, local doctors say some survivors are reporting a significant impact on their mental health as our, well. Our Dr. Frank McGeorge is here to explain what they're experiencing and why it's catching some of by surprise, Doc. Yeah, Kim and Devin, you know, many survivors say once they left the hospital, they thought they were basically done, but they are finding the road to recovery is much longer and bumpier than they anticipated, both physically and mentally. I just don't feel right. And I mean, you know, people say, of course, because I had a deal with a life threatening situation and I kind of get that, I guess, but still. It's easy to understand why Alonzo White of Detroit is still reeling. In mid-March, he developed a fever and went to lay down. When I woke up again, I was in the hospital and like three weeks had went by and they told me they I was in there and I was in a coma. White has faced challenges before. He lost both legs in a car accident seven years ago, but being stuck at home and isolated from family and friends makes this situation different. We're hearing a lot of people talk about the fact that they feel disconnected. Dr. Robin Hanks is the chief of neuropsychology at the Rehabilitation Institute of Michigan. She says COVID-19 is unique in many ways. This particular condition really affects different people in different ways and in different parts of their body. In addition to anxiety and memory problems, we're also seeing some cognitive issues, some changes in their thinking abilities. Sometimes for people who have had more severe cases, we're seeing problems um, that are complications from COVID, things like inflammation in the brain. Uh, some people have had strokes. The Rehab Institute has launched a special COVID-19 recovery program to help survivors conquer lingering physical, cognitive, and emotional issues. White's advice? Don't give up. Just do whatever they tell you to do. Don't be hard-headed because this is something that none of us have no idea how to deal with. Now, if you are a survivor and are experiencing any of these feelings or symptoms, talk to your doctor. There are a range of treatment options available and mental health and rehab professionals are prepared to help people get through these challenges. Yeah, we're learning more and more about this every day. So, Frank, I'm wondering, do the doctors have a feel for how much of this is actually caused by the virus itself and how much maybe is because of being locked down and isolated? Well, you know, Kim, there is no question. Some patients are suffering from a physical injury to the brain, but many are also being seriously impacted by the overall situation. Mm -hmm. Alonzo said he feels like he's living in a movie sometimes, which I think is a feeling yeah. that we've all experienced at some point in these last few months. I mean, yeah. time is just in a weird it, state as well. It really is. Okay. Interesting. Thank you, Doc. Mm -hmm.